This is the Midtown Fame here with another Infinium short story. This Infinium short story is entitled The Infinium Zone, Crystal. Because of her nature, Crystal is not just a thought, she is a gem thought. Accordingly, Crystal regularly frequented gems like Planet Fitness to ply her foddingly ways. Which Crystal was an expert at being a gym thought because she did everything nailed down to a T. Yes, indeed, everything from her gym thought yoga pants to those also heavy five pound weights Crystal used in her fake outs, um, workouts, everything was nailed down to a T. But as things go for thoughts, and as things go for gym thoughts, those direct hits at the gym suddenly became missed targets for Crystal. To deal with her dilemma, Crystal consulted the assistance of her thought warper computer. After a few hours of analyzation of her problems, the computer spat out this response. If the primary targeting range is occluded, you must select a secondary targeting range. In other words, if finding a man at the gym was unsuccessful, go to a nearby store to find the target. Sounds like a plan. Crystal thought as she leaned back in the chair with a wiry, thought smile on her face. A few days later, Crystal was exiting the Planet Fitness, fully brought heart because she could not acquire a target. She remembered the worker computer's instructions and quickly headed over to a nearby grocery superstore. It wasn't long before Crystal found the target, the gentleman who was working in the chemical section in the rear of the store. The gentleman was in the middle of a laundry detergent aisle, diligently offloading merchandise from a pallet when Crystal spotted him. She lingered momentarily at the head of the aisle and then acted like she was moving on. Crystal was actually cycling around the other end of the aisle so she could come up behind the gentleman. She then squeezed by the pallet that he was working off of while saying a sultry, excuse me, to the gentleman, which the gentleman just ignored Crystal and kept on working. Crystal then blocked the gentleman by picking up a case of Thai detergent pods and appearing to read the instructions on the back of the product. The gentleman just switched to another line of products and went to the other end of the aisle. Crystal stood there for about 10 minutes and then left even more but her, and with a three-letter question in her mind, WTF. Two weeks later, Crystal was again exiting the Planet Fitness and was again also but her. She decided again to do another Target run in the nearby grocery superstore, which again, Crystal targeted the gentleman who was dil diligently offloading a pound of air freshener products. She again squeezed by the pod while saying excuse me, but this time slightly bumping it in an effort to get the gentleman's attention. The gentleman, as before, ignored her and kept on working. Crystal again blocked him, but he just said switch to another line of products. Growing incensed at his indifference towards her, Crystal again blocked him. Which again, he just switched to another line of products and kept on working. Crystal then walked down to the end of the aisle and stood there glaring at the gentleman. The look on her face said it all. You effing bastard. How dare you ignore me. After a few minutes, the gentleman suddenly stood up straight and made direct eye contact with Crystal. The gentleman did not say anything, but the look on his face said it all. I do not need you. I do not want you. Now go away. Crystal scampered off, never to be seen again by the, by the gentleman. As Crystal raced home to take a sledgehammer to a warper computer, her ego had burst into flames like the Hindenburg and was now crashing down uncontrollably onto the landing zone of butthurt. Because of her exalted encounter with the MGTOW Infinium, Crystal's last stop on the, on the SmackDown train is the Epic Fail Station, 
located in the Infinity Zone. This has been the MGTOW Infinium with the Infinium Short Story. My MGTOW brothers, stay safe, stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path, and remember, MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.